it's still summertime. Welcome, you're all here at our MTV video blog for the Grand Prix of Hungary in Modjorod. That's not far away from Budapest. I welcome you here at Nachspielzeit.rocks. My name is Andreas Richter, and we're taking we're taking a close look behind the scenes in Modjorod. It was quite a dominant victory for Mercedes and for Lewis Hamilton. So congratulations to both of them. Apart from that, it was quite a boring race. So let's take a look to other spots and facts. Fernando Alonso, it was his 37th birthday today and maybe or it could be his last Formula One season. I'm still pretty much convinced that he's going to change into the IndyCar series to North America, maybe next year, what I suppose he will do, or maybe in 2020. Let's take a close look to the race as such. Back in 1986, that was the premier event, not only in Hungary, but also in the former Eastern Bloc countries. Bernie Ecclestone succeeded in installing a Grand Prix behind the Iron Curtain. So in 1986, it was a dominant victory by Williams and by Nelson Piquet. Well, not dominant, but fascinating would fit better because uh, Piquet overtook Ayrton Senna in his Lotus Renault at the end of the start-finish straight, sliding over all four wheels that was really great to watch have a look to one of the youtube video clips you will find them in the internet i'm sure about that so back to that race it was now the 33rd um, event in hungary in budapest or modjora to be quite exact and it was a great race even though we saw the first ever wet qualifying session on saturday at least as far as i can remember um, concerning the last couple of years so that was quite interesting not to see the favorites from ferrari in the top two spots but the silver file as we say in Germany the silver arrows of Hamilton and Bottas so Hamilton won he extended his lead in the world championship but Vettel gained points that was after the disaster in Hockenheim that was most important for him now we have the summer break in Formula One lasting for three weekends so we are going to meet again here at Nachspielzeit.rox on 26th of August with the Grand Prix of Belgium in Spa Francorchamps. Take your time, enjoy summertime. See you then here at Nachspielzeit at Rocks. Bye for now, says Andreas Richter.